Hello friends in this part we will discuss how create new invoice. Creating of new invoice is a very big part so we have divided it into three parts. So here first we have define link for create new invoice. So here we have write anchor tag with attribute href is equal to invoice.php page with question mark add is equal to one with anchor text create. By click on this link we can go to create invoice page. So for go to create invoice page, here we have write php if statement and in condition we have write is set function and under this we have write dollar get add variable. This condition will check if dollar get add variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Suppose dollar get add variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to poster and it is equal to invoice form. So here we have defined simple form. Under this form we have defined one table with open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write table data tag with call span is equal to two, a line is equal to center and in text we have write invoice. After this we have defined one more table row tag with table data tag and between this we have defined one input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to order receiver name it is equal to order receiver name and placeholder is equal to enter receiver name. Below this we have defined one text area tag with attribute name is equal to order receiver address it is equal to order receiver address and placeholder is equal to enter billing address. In this tag we can enter receiver address. After this we have defined one more input tag with attribute type is equal to text name is equal to order no, it equal to order no and placeholder is equal to enter notice no. In this tag we can enter invoice number. Below this we have defined one more input tag with attribute type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to order date, it is equal to order date and placeholder is equal to select invoice date. Here we can select invoice date from date picker. Now we want to activate date picker on this tag, so here we have include to header link, first link is for date picker style sheet and second link is for bootstrap date picker javascript. This both link is used for activate date picker on input tag. After this we want to activate date picker on input tag with it order date, so here we have write input tag it order date with date picker method. By using this method we can activate date picker on order date text box. Now we have proceed for create invoice form and in form we have define on table with attribute class is equal to invoice item table. In this table we can add multiple item details for create form. Under this table we have defined one table row tag and between this we have defined table heading tag like serial number, item name, quantity, price, actual amount, tax 1 details, tax 2 details, tax 3 details total and blank table head. Below this we have again defined one more table row and between this we have defined five blank table head tag and after this we have defined rate, amount, rate, amount, rate, amount table head tag. 
Then after we have again defined one more table row tag in between this we have defined first table data tag in between this we have write span tag with it is equal to serial no and in text we have write one. Below this we have write second table data tag and between this we have write input tag with attribute type is equal to text name is equal to item name array, it is equal to item name 1. Here we have define item name array because we want to store one or more than one item in array. In third table data tag we have defined one input tag with attribute type is equal to text. Name is equal to order item price in array, it is equal to order item price 1, data serial no is equal to 1 and class is equal to number only and order item price. In fourth table data tag we have define input tag with attribute type is equal to text name is equal to order item actual amount in array, it is equal to order item actual amount 1, data serial number is equal to 1, class is equal to order item actual amount and here we have add one more attribute read only that means we cannot edit value of this text box. Here number only class will restrict the user to enter non number into this text box and this order item price class we will use this class as selector in query code and we will also use the value of this data serial number is equal to 1 in query code also. In fifth table data tag we have define input tag with attribute type is equal to text, name is equal to order item tax one rate, it is equal to order item tax one rate one, data serial number is equal to one and class is equal to number only and order item tax one rate. In this we can define define tax rate. In 6 table data tag we have define input tag with attribute type is equal to order item tax 1 amount it is equal to order item tax 1 amount 1, data serial number is equal to 1, read only and class is equal to order item tax 1 amount. This field also read only and value will calculate on the base of tax 1 rate into order actual amount. In 7th table data tag we have define input tag with attribute type is equal to text, name is equal to order item tax 2 rate, it is equal to order item tax 2 rate 1, data serial number is equal to 1 and class is equal to number only and order item tax 2 rate. In this we can define define tax 2 rate. In 8 table data tag we have define input tag with attribute type is equal to order item tax to amount it is equal to order item tax to amount 1, data serial number is equal to 1, read only and class is equal to order item tax to amount. This field also read only and value will calculate on the base of tax 2 rate into order actual amount. In ninth table data tag we have define input tag with attribute type is equal to text, name is equal to order item tax 3 rate, it is equal to order item tax 3 rate 1, data serial number is equal to 1 and class is equal to number only and order item tax 3 rate. In this we can define define third tax rate. In 10th table data tag we have define input tag with attribute type is equal to order item tax 3 amount it is equal to order item tax 3 amount 1, data serial number is equal to 1, read only and class is equal to order item tax 3 amount. This field also read only and value will calculate value on the base of tax 3 rate into order actual amount. In last 11th data tag we have defined one input tag with attribute type is equal to order item final amount, it is equal to order item final amount 1, data serial no is equal to 1 with read only attribute, class is equal to order item final amount. 
This field value is also read only and under this we will display particular item total amount with tax. Below this we have defined one button for add blank row in table with a invoice item table, so we can enter one more item details for create invoice. So here we have write button tag with attribute type is equal to button, name is equal to add row and it is equal to also an add row. So when we have click on this button then it will append blank row for enter new item details like game, quantity, price and tax details. First we have design form for create invoice then after we will move to write query code for create blank row for new item. So below this we have defined one more table row and between this we have defined two table data tag. First tag we have write total and in second tag we have write span tag with it is equal to final total amount. We will display invoice final amount under this tag. Lastly we have defined one more table row data and between this we have defined table data tag with call span is equal to 2 and under this tag we have defined one input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal to total item, it is equal to total item and value is equal to 1. From value of this tag we can get the number of the total item in invoice. And below this we want to define one button for submit form value, so we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to create invoice, it is equal to create invoice and value is equal to create. When we have click on this button then form value has been submitted to server. So here our HTML code part over to create invoice form now and next part we will discuss query code part. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.